Alamosaurus is a genus of Titanosaurian sauropod dinosaurs, containing a single known species, Alamosaurus salmonensis, from the late Cretaceous period of what is now southern North America. Isolated vertebrae and limb bones indicate that it reached sizes comparable to Argentinosaurus and Puetisaurus, which would make it the largest dinosaur known from North America. Its fossils have been recovered from a variety of rock formations spanning the Maastricht age of the late Cretaceous period. Specimens of a juvenile Alamosaurus salmonensis have been recovered from only a few meters below the Cretaceous Paleogen boundary in Texas, making it among the last surviving non avian dinosaur species. Description Alamosaurus was a gigantic quadrupedal herbivore with a long neck and tail and relatively long limbs. Its body was at least partly covered in bony armor. Though most of the complete remains come from juvenile or small adult specimens, three fragmentary specimens, SMPVPA 1625, SMPVPA 1850 and SMPVPA 2104, suggest that adult Alamosaurus could have grown to enormous sizes comparable to the largest known dinosaurs like Argentinosaurus, which has been estimated to weigh 73 tons. The total estimate length of Alamosaurus ranges between 79 to 100 feet long. The shoulder height is estimated between 19.5 to 24.7 feet tall. Though no skull has ever been found, rod-shaped teeth have been found with Alamosaurus skeletons and probably belong to this dinosaur. The vertebrae from the middle part of its tail had elongated centra. Alamosaurus had vertebral lateral fossae that resembled shallow depressions. Fossae that similarly resemble shallow depressions are known from Saltisaurus, Malawasaurus, Eolosaurus, and Gondwanatitan. Nenosaurus also had depression-like fossae, but its depressions penetrated deeper into the vertebrae, were divided into two chambers, and extend farther into the vertebral columns. Alamosaurus had more robust radii than Nenosaurus. History Alamosaurus remains have been discovered throughout the southwestern United States. The holotype was discovered in June 1921 by Charles Whitney Gilmore, John Bernard Reeside and Charles Hazalius Sternberg at the Barrel Springs Arroyo in the Nashuibita member of the Ojo Alamo Formation of New Mexico which was deposited during the Maastricht stage of the late Cretaceous period. Bones have also been recovered from other Maastricht formations like the North Horn Formation of Utah and the Black Peaks, El Picaco and Javelina Formations of Texas. Smithsonian paleontologist Gilmore originally described the holotype, USNM 10486, a left scapula, and the paratype USNM 10487, a right eum in 1922, naming the type species Alamosaurus sunwinensis. Contrary to popular assertions, the dinosaur is not named after the Alamo in San Antonio, Texas, or the battle that was fought there. The holotype, the specimen the name was based on, was discovered in New Mexico and, at the time of its naming, Alamosaurus had not yet been found in Texas. Instead, the name Alamosaurus comes from Ojo Alamo, the geologic formation in which it was found and which was, in turn, named after the nearby Ojo Alamo trading post. The term Alamo itself is a Spanish word meaning poplar, and is used for the local subspecies of cottonwood tree. The term saurus is derived from saura, Greek for lizard, and is the most common suffix used in dinosaur names. There is only one species in the genus, Alamosaurus salmonensis, which is named after San Juan County, New Mexico, where the first remains were found. In 1946, Gilmore posthumously described a more complete specimen. USNM 15660 found on June 15, 1937 in the North Horn Mountain of Utah by George B. Pierce. It consists of a complete tail, a right forelimb complete except for the fingers a euro, which later research showed do not ossify with a Titanosauridae a euro, and both a year. Since then, hundreds of other bits and pieces from Texas, New Mexico, and Utah have been referred to Alamosaurus, often without much description. Despite being fragmentary, until the second half of the 20th century they represented much of the globally known titanosaurid material. The most completely known specimen, 43,621 Turkmen Manats-1, 
is a recently discovered juvenile skeleton from Texas, which allowed educated estimates of length and mass. Some blocks catalogued under the same accession number as the relatively complete and well-known Alamosaurus specimen USNM 15660, and found in very close proximity to it based on bone impressions, were first investigated by Michael Brett Sermon in 2009. In 2015, he reported that the blocks contained osteoderms, the first confirmation of their existence on Alamosaurus. No skull material is known, except for a few slender teeth. Classification Gilmore in 1922 was uncertain about the precise affinities of Alamosaurus and did not determine it any further than a general sauropoda. In 1927 Friedrich von Hain placed it in the Titanosauridae. Alamosaurus was in any case an advanced, or derived, member of the group Titanosauria, but its relationships within that group are far from certain. The issue is further complicated by some researchers rejecting the name Titanosauridae and replacing it with Saltisauridae. One major analysis unites Alamosaurus with the Pisthocoa lycordia in a subgroup of Pisthocoa lycordinae of the Saltisauridae. A major competing analysis finds Alamosaurus as a sister taxon to Pelagrinosaurus, with both genera located just outside Saltisauridae. Other scientists have also noted particular similarities with the Saltisaurid Nequenserus and the Brazilian Trigonosaurus which is used in many cladistic and morphologic analyses of Titanosaurians. Age Alamosaurus fossils are most notably found in the Nashuibata member of the Ojo Alamo formation and in the Javelina formation, though the exact age range of the later has been difficult to determine. A juvenile specimen of Alamosaurus has been reported to come from the Black Peaks formation which overlays the Javelina in Big Bend, Texas, and which straddles the cretaceous paleogen boundary. The Alamosaurus specimen was reported to come from a few meters below the boundary, dated to 66 Ma ago, though the position of the boundary in this region is uncertain. Only one geological site in the Javelina formation has thus far yielded the correct rock types for radiometric dating. The outcrop situated in the middle strata of the formation about 90 meters below the KPG boundary and within the local range of Alamosaurus fossils, was dated to 69.0 plus or minus 0.9 million years old in 2010. Using this date, in correlation with a measured age from the underlying Agurjar formation and the likely location of the KPG boundary in the overlying Black Peaks formation. The Alamosaurus fauna seems to have lasted from about 70-66 million years ago, with the earliest records of Alamosaurus near the base of the Javelina formation, and the latest just below the KPG boundary in the Black Peaks formation. Habitat and geographic origin Skeletal elements of Alamosaurus are among the most common late Cretaceous dinosaur fossils found in the United States Southwest and are now used to define the fauna of that time and place known as the Alamosaurus fauna. In the south of late Cretaceous North America, the transition from the Edmontonian to the Lanchian faunal stages is even more dramatic than it was in the north. Thomas M. Lehman describes it as the abrupt re-emergence of a fauna with a superficially Jurassic aspect. These faunas are dominated by Alamosaurus and feature abundant Quetzalcoatlus in Texas. The Alamosaurus Quetzalcoatlus Association probably represents semi arid inland plains. The appearance of Alamosaurus may have represented an immigration event from South America. Some taxa may have co occurred on both continents, including Critosaurus and Avasaurus. Alamosaurus appears and achieves dominance in its environment very abruptly, which might support the idea that it originated following an immigration event. Other scientists speculated that Alamosaurus was an immigrant from Asia. However, critics of the immigration hypothesis note that inhabitants of an upland environment like Alamosaurus are more likely to be endemic than coastal species, and tend to have less of an ability to cross bodies of water. Further, early Cretaceous titanosaurs are already known, so North American potential ancestors for Alamosaurus already existed. Other contemporary dinosaurs from that part of the world include Tyrannosaurs, small arthropods, the Hadrosaurs Edmentosaurus sp and Critosaurus sp, the Ankylosaur Glyptodonta peltamimus, and the Ceratopsids Taurosaurus utrensis and Ogoceratops fowleri. 
titanosaur fossils associated with the Lamasaurus have been found in the Evanston Formation in Wyoming. Three articulated caudal vertebrae were collected above Ham's Fork, and are housed at the Museum of Paleontology, University of California, Berkeley. These specimens have not been described. References